Hey, I'm Adam Dreskel from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we are gonna look at the best credit cards for food, meaning groceries and dining, anywhere that you are eating. So the ground rules here for this video means that you have to be getting at least 3% or three points per dollar, depending on the program in both dining and groceries on the same credit card, or you have to be getting a total of 6% if you added the groceries and the dining together, because then if you divided 6% by two, you'd get 3%. So we're looking for at least 3% on average in those two categories on one card. Best all around for food is the Capital One Saver One card. No annual fee, 3% cash back on your dining purchases, 3% back at grocery stores. You also have 10% back on Uber Eats and Uber Rides through November of 2024, or actually I think it's halfway through November of 2024. Also 3% on streaming services, 3% on entertainment purchases, 1% everywhere else. You've got a $200 bonus opportunity on this card, no foreign transaction fees. If you use it outside of the U.S., so a great overall no annual fee food card, probably the best for the widest number of people. Capital One also offers the Capital One Saver card, which is the sort of same card, except it's got a $95 annual fee, and you get a little bit more on your dining and entertainment. You get 4% on dining, 4% on entertainment, and then everything else is pretty much the same, except you've got a $300 bonus opportunity on that card. Unless you spend an awful lot on dining every year, you're going to be better off with the Saver One card. If you're an American Express membership rewards fan, then maybe the number one card for you for food is going to be the American Express Gold Card. It's got a $250 annual fee, but you're getting four membership rewards points per dollar at restaurants worldwide, four points per dollar at supermarkets in the U.S. You've also got three points per dollar on flights, one point per dollar on everything else. Now you have two big food related credits that you can potentially uh, get with this card too. And actually they are going to be pretty important when it comes to thinking about the annual fee. On this card, you have an up to $120 Uber credit per year, Uber or Uber Eats, which means you're going to get $10 per month that you can use with Uber. If you can max that out, that's going to be worth $120 per year. And then you also have a $120 dining credit that you can use at certain places, including uh, Grubhub and some other specific restaurants. Again, split up into $10 per month. So if you can max that out, that's another $120 Max those both out, that's $240, which is almost the annual fee. You've got a nice big bonus opportunity on this card that should be worth at least 600 bucks, depending on what uh, bonus you get with it. But that also is something to factor in when we're looking at that big annual fee. You've got no foreign transaction fees on this card. So maybe the most popular or the best everyday card if you want points in the American Express Membership Rewards Program and you like food. Number three, the U.S. Bank Altitude Go, no annual fee, 4% cash back on dining, 2% cash back at grocery stores. The two of those together equal 6%, like we said, averaging at least 3% in those two categories. You're also getting 2% cash back on gas or electric vehicle charging, 2% back on streaming services, 1% back everywhere else. You've got a yearly $15 credit for streaming services on this card, $200 bonus opportunity as I'm making this video, no foreign transaction fees. So a very nice no annual fee card, especially for dining and groceries. Number four, if you qualify as a member of Navy Federal Credit Union, there is the More Rewards American Express card that gives you three points per dollar or 3% cash back on dining, 3% back at grocery stores, also 3% back on gas, 3% back on transit, 1% back on everything else. As I make this video, there is a $100 bonus opportunity. The bonuses change a lot with this card. You also have no foreign transaction fees, so another nice no annual fee card if you can qualify as a Navy Federal Credit Union member. So those are the big four, and I'll mention three other cards as sort of honorable mentions here. First off, the City Custom Cash Card, where you earn 5% cash back in the category where you spend the most each month, and there's certain categories where you can earn that 5%, among them being dining and groceries. So if you use this card and dining or groceries is your number one category at 5% and you get 1% in the other category, that's five plus one equals six. 
six, we divide that by two and we say 3% in those categories. Now, this does have a cap of $500 per month or $500 per billing cycle actually in the category where you spend the most each month. So if you're going over $500 in one of those categories, well, then this card is sort of slips under that 3% on average, which is why it's honorable mention, but no annual fee. You've got a $200 bonus opportunity, a nice card alone potentially, but usually better as a complimentary card to others in your wallet. And then I'm also going to throw in the Instacart and DoorDash credit cards here. They are honorable mention because they don't totally qualify. The Instacart card is going to give you 5% on your Instacart purchases, 2% on your grocery purchases, and there's some other things going on with this card as well. But unless you get all your groceries from Instacart delivery, kind of doesn't totally qualify. Same thing with DoorDash, you're getting 4% back on DoorDash, but 3% back on other dining, 2% back on uh, groceries, and then some other things going on with that card as well. Unless you're getting all of your dining through uh, DoorDash, doesn't quite get you there in terms of what I'm using for the uh, qualifications in this video, but both of those are ones you might consider. So those are the top cards. If you wanna have the dining and the grocery in the same card, you don't wanna carry a million cards, those are good ones to consider. Consider. I feel like there's one other card out there that I'm forgetting that should fit into this video as well, but it may just be that I'm being paranoid. If you know of another card that I am forgetting, put that in those comments below or anything else that you want to talk about, put that in the comments below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching and as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not going to leave a comment or go to the website, the next video you might want to watch is right there.